Good afternoon. Islanders say they feel concerns over their ferry service have been ignored because of the promise of two new vessels. The Isle of Isla was launched at the weekend at a shipyard in Turkey. It is due to be in service in October with another expected next year. However, residents say they've been dealing with a disrupted and unreliable service. We seem to be stumbling from crisis to crisis in our ferry system and there's a lot of us working in the community very hard to try and get the best service we can. But unfortunately, we sort of feel that it's falling on deaf ears. I think the, the new ferries have been used as, a, as an excuse to not take our concerns into account. Rail unions and environmental groups have joined forces to call for peak fares to be scrapped following a pilot. The Scottish Government announced last year that all train fares on publicly owned ScotRail would be the same regardless of the time of day, with a trial concluding in June. However, the Transport Secretary has now been urged to make the move permanent. More than 80 organisations are calling on the Scottish Government to increase minimum alcohol pricing ahead of a vote at Holyrood. Charities, faith groups and medical organisations have been asked to increase the minimum unit pricing to 65 pence per unit. The Scottish Parliament must vote by the end of April to pass the new regulations, otherwise the policy will come to an end. The UK's first centre dedicated to testing equipment for floating offshore wind sector has opened in Aberdeen. The facility was opened by the First Minister Hamza Yousaf and will trial technology and subsea cables and anchoring systems. Experts say the centre will ultimately help Scotland meet its net zero targets. How would you design these products to be lasting 20, 30 years if not longer in very hazardous, difficult conditions? But again, the, the, the great thing we have in Scotland is we have that oil and gas tradition and, the, and the, the engineering knowledge that has come from how do you work in those very difficult marine environments. The Dunry nuclear site could face strike action as 450 workers are balloted in a pay dispute. Workers at the base near Thurso rejected a 4.5% pay offer earlier this year. Unite the Union say the offer is a real terms pay cut. Operators Magnox say the site will remain safe and secure and that they hope to resolve the situation as soon as possible. Now here's Sean with the weather. A heavy downpour will subside and light relaxation will set in. TUI sponsors STV Weather. Good afternoon. A lovely spring-like day for many of us and highs up to 14 or 15 degrees in the northeast of the country. And of course, it is officially spring on Wednesday. So plenty of sunshine out there today and feeling pleasant in those sunny spells as well. But in the west, things starting to change later on this evening. Rain spreading in and some of that will be heavy as well. And that runs its way north and eastward. So for many of us tonight, it will turn wet, but it will remain mild. Temperatures for most of us still staying about 8 or 9 degrees Celsius. The good news is most of that rain's cleared away and then tomorrow it's a dry, bright day for most of us, but we'll hang on to some showers in the northwest and windy across the northern isles. Bye-bye. TUI sponsors STV Weather. That's all for this lunchtime. Andrew will be back at six with the rest of today's headlines. Have a good afternoon. Bye-bye.